Health Canada has authorized a made-in-Canada COVID-19 vaccine from Medicago known as Covens. The two-dose plant-based vaccine is authorized for use in people aged 18 to 64. Medicago has been making headlines for their plant-based vaccine, which is very close to being approved by Health Canada. Here to tell us more is Medicago's medical officer, Dr. Brian Ward. Thank you for coming on the show, Dr. Brian Ward. Medicago, founded in 1997, is a Canadian biotech company headquartered in Quebec City. It is also the first Canadian-based company to have produced a COVID vaccine. Why is this such a positive story? Well, uh, because as we've all seen, the accessibility of vaccines was a major concern early in the pandemic. And so having a local capacity to produce vaccines is potentially really important for the next outbreak or pandemic. Described as a plant-based virus-like particle vaccine, your company uses plants as bioreactors to produce proteins as candidate vaccines and for medications. How different is this from other COVID vaccines and why should Canadians and Ontarians be taking note? Well, the, the, uh, if, if we are successful um, with the uh, BRDD review right now and receive a license for this vaccine, it will be not only the first Canadian vaccine um, for COVID, but it will also be the first ever vaccine for human use produced in this plant-based system. Um, it is, a, it, in a sense, it's a traditional vaccine. So it's a protein um, and an adjuvant, something that stimulates the immune system, but it's produced on this very, in this very novel platform. So it it is, uh, it would be a first. And, and anytime there's a Canadian first, that's a very good thing. I understand that the Canadian government has a deal pending with Medicago that in the event that Health Canada issues authorization, over 20 million doses of your vaccine will be purchased by the federal government. Is this true? Yes, that's true. So our first our first contract, purchase contract, is with the federal government of Canada. And they've agreed to purchase 20 million doses, which we will start, I hope, supplying them with in a very short while. Uh, they have... Um, they have the right under that contract to purchase a further 56 million doses um, if they decide there's a need uh, for those vaccines um, in the near future. Your phase three clinical trial is expected to be completed by April of this year. Is this timeline still accurate? Well, yes. The, uh, however, the preliminary evaluation of that phase three study uh, was just released to MedArchive and um, as of about 25 minutes ago, was submitted to a journal for uh, publication. So um, the study is obviously um, a very large, it's more than 24,000 people in six different countries on three continents. Um, but the first analysis of the data, the efficacy data, which means basically how well the vaccine worked, that was triggered by the identification of the first 160 cases. So that occurred in August, August 20th, and we've been very uh, actively analyzing those data over the last couple of months, and um, uh, the vaccine actually worked very well. It was announced last month that your co-VLP vaccine candidate exhibited 71% efficacy and no adverse side effects during the phase three clinical trial. How positive has this news been received? Well, we were all pretty excited by it because we knew that the vaccine was going to be confronted not by the original, um, if you will, ancestral strain that, that emerged uh, two years ago, but by a range of variants. And uh, several of these variants are known to be highly transmissible and resistant to vaccine-induced immunity. So, um, in, in fact, we didn't see a single case among the 160 cases. We didn't see a single case of the original ancestral strain. They were all these new variants of concern and variants of interest. The Greek letters that you've all heard about, uh, um, alpha, delta, gamma, wu, mu, han. Um, no Omicron in that first 160, but the study is still ongoing and we are actively collecting cases that we presume to be Omicron right now. And so we should have data that will tell us how well our vaccine worked against the Omicron variant in the next couple of months. 
Currently, there are only two different types of vaccines that have been authorized by Health Canada, mRNA, such as Pfizer and Moderna, and viral vector-based AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson. How important is it for additional safe vaccine types to be approved by Health Canada? Well, it's always nice to have um, a choice. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have options. And as I said, although our vaccine is produced on a, a, a well, almost a unique platform, um, using the plants as the bioreactor, it is at its base a recombinant protein vaccine in the form of a virus-like particle uh, administered with an adjuvant to help stimulate the immune system. So it's a, it is in fact a much more traditional vaccine, even if it's produced in quite a, a novel way. So uh, this would this would add, I think. Um, uh, quite nicely to the other vaccines, uh, which have been available for a little while. And uh, there are certainly some people who will feel um, uh, that this kind of choice is, is an advantage to have multiple different platforms. How would you define the word vaccine? Merriam-Webster's dictionary formerly described vaccine as a preparation of killed microorganisms that is administered to produce or artificially increase immunity to a particular disease. In May of 2021, this definition was edited and now reads, a preparation that is administered as by injection to stimulate the body's immune response against a specific infectious agent or disease. The CDC has also since amended their definition of vaccine, replacing immunity with protection in its definition. Is this just semantics? Well, no, I don't think so. I, I, the original um, the original definition that you read out was was lacking in some respects, mm -hmm. um, and, and I think that I would probably even modify the more recent um, uh, definition to say that it's uh, a, a vaccine is um, a, a a product, of a, a, I guess product. Yeah, it's a product that is administered using one of many different routes um, that provides some level of protection uh, against um, a, a biological threat um, because there are infectious threats, there are uh, neoplastic threats, there are certainly cancer vaccines that are in development, some even in use, and there are vaccines that can modulate uh, people's immune systems to, to settle down things like autoimmune inflammatory conditions. So the definition of vaccine is no longer restricted to infectious threats, but in fact, a wide range of medical conditions. Since there are some Canadians and Ontarians who, for legitimate health reasons, cannot receive either the mRNA or viral vector-based vaccine, and may even have medical exemptions, how vital is it for Health Canada to authorize other vaccine types, such as Metacogo's CoVLP vaccine, for use in the general population, so as to improve health options and to enhance health equity? Well, you, you used the same word I did, which mm -hmm. was options. Um, and I and I think it is important that we have um, options. Uh, the, the the current vaccines in light, in use in Canada. Um, I'm I'm one of the Canadians who uh, went out and and received the uh, viral vector vaccine first. My first dose was a viral vector vaccine, and my second and third dose were the RNA vaccines. Um, and so uh, there are some people who have. Uh, had bad reactions, for example, to um, other vaccines and are not able to receive further doses of that same vaccine. So having options um, uh, makes sense. Similarly, if someone has a bad reaction to a first dose of our vaccine, should it be licensed, then obviously it would be nice for them to have an option to receive another kind of vaccine to prevent the uh, adverse event potentially from repeating itself. Well, thank you so much, Brian Ward, for coming on the show. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in. This has been your host, Julia Cosby.